today is the logical consequence of a lengthy development because relations between Switzerland and Ghana have for decades been characterized by mutual respect. Not every connection between our two countries can be deduced at first glance. Take the gold frenally, or I can translate the traditional gold coin and the chocolate coins, both products that every child here grows up with and which are considered typically Swiss. But neither would exist without gold and cocoa, which we import on a large scale from Ghana. It is quite simple. We need the raw materials, and you have the raw materials. Ghana is currently Switzerland's largest trading partner in sub-Saharan Africa, larger from the export of gold and cocoa to Switzerland and the import of chemical and pharmaceutical products, as well as light machinery and military equipment from Switzerland. However, as I have stated on occasion, Ghana no longer wants to be dependent on the production and export of raw materials, including cocoa beans. We intend to process more and more of our cocoa in our country with the aim of producing more chocolate ourselves because we believe that there can be no future prosperity for the Ghanaian people in the short, medium or long term if we continue to maintain economic structures that are dependent on the production and export of raw materials. We intend to va add value to our raw materials, industrialize and enhance agricultural productivity. This is the best way we can put Ghana at the high end of the value chain in the global marketplace and create jobs for the teeming masses of Ghanaians. It is for this reason that my government continues to put in place a number of measures aimed at attracting investment into Ghana, as well as stimulating growth of the private sector. We are determined in Ghana to ensure that succeeding generations of Ghanaians do not become victims or pawns of the international economic order, but her beneficiaries. Indeed, the project is a Ghana beyond aid, a Ghana which has discarded a mindset of dependency, aid, charity and handouts, and is charting a path of self-reliance in her progress, fashioned out of the intelligent and disciplined use of her considerable human and material resources. Mm -hmm.